Hello, my name is Jacob, and today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on your local host for Mac OS X. So let's get started. First off, open your browser of choice. I'm using Google Chrome. We're going to go to MAMP.info. And now we'll go to the MAMP site. So now you just want to go to Downloads. And you want to hit Download. I've already downloaded it, so it's over here in my Downloads. You just open this package. Walk you through the installation guide. Next, next, next. Agree. Select the destination. Next. Next. And I've already installed it, so I'm not going to go through with it, but it's very simple. So I'm just going to hit back and close all that. Now, once you've installed it, it'll be under your apps. And here it is in the map folder. There'll be map and map pro. It's just this this map. Actually, it's not in the folder. It's just there next to it. So you can drag a shortcut down here, which I've done. And so if I load up map, this is what you get. So in the preferences, you can define what you want your document root to be. So I've put it in user documents working files and so once you've done that you can just go ahead and start the server and it'll take you to this landing page once it's launched so you can see that it's running because this is green here and you should have this MySQL and Apache checked up here and so yeah, now you just go into this uh, PHP MyAdmin, and we're going to set up a database for our WordPress site. So just click on Databases, and just type WordPress Test Site, or whatever you want your database name to be. Maybe I'll just make it WordPress 2 and hit create. So now you'll see a um, new database over here on the side. Now we're going to go to wordpress.org and we're going to download the latest version of WordPress. I'm going to show it in Finder and do a command N for a new Finder window. Go to my working files. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this WordPress 2. I just gave it that exclamation underscore so it would jump to the top and be easy to locate. So now I'm going to drag the zip file into that folder. And I'm just going to double click to unzip it. We're going to drag all of this into that test folder, that WordPress 2 folder, and then delete this WordPress folder. So now it's ready to install. So all we need to do, I'm going to do a new tab, and then I go localhost colon 888 slash, and then I put WordPress 2, the folder we just created. Okay, something went wrong. Oh, that's right. I named it underscore exclamation underscore WordPress 2. So now you're on your WordPress install screen. So I'm just going to choose English. This is the info you're going to need on the next page. I'm just going to say let's go. Database name is WordPress 2. 
host name is root by default and password is also root we're going to leave local host database host and leave the prefix alone and hit submit so it looks like everything's ready to go we run the install now we can make our site title wordpress2 username we can generate a password actually well that's just dash line something I use to manage my passwords so just type in whatever password you want it doesn't have to be super secure because it's on your local host um, unless you have all kinds of crazy hackers trying to get into your stuff all the time so then just put in your email here so yeah I'll just put in an email and then you can decide whether you want search engines to index you or not since it's on your local host it's not going to anyway until you transfer it over to, to the World Wide Web so yeah now I'm going to click install and we're done so sorry it's just trying to save my password <clears throat> now I can log in here so bam there we go we have WordPress installed if we visit the site it's the default theme right now and everything's ready to go you can build a full site on your local machine and when you like what you see you can transition it over to the web and um, yeah you could either find another tutorial on how to do that or hire a designer developer or uh, there's some plugins that can help you transfer a WordPress site over yeah so I hope that helped and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments I uh, also recommend DreamHost if you're looking for live hosting or a domain and I'll leave a link for that in the description and um, other than that yeah just feel free to check out my online portfolio at bluelotusmedia.com and please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, thank you very much. I'm Jacob Lewis.